I am now the director of a very small outfit, non-profit, uh, that uh, tries to do the best possible investigative reporting. And sometimes it means, uh, very often it means getting into corporate corruption, which in Latin America is far more important at this point than gov purely political corruption. But of course, they hold all, all the strings related to advertising, to multiple kinds of, of, of ties and all of that. So, if we publish something related to the corruption of a member of parliament, we would create tremendous echo on the part of the rest of the press. If we publish something having to do with the banks, having to do with the big corporate individuals, there would be complete silence. So, yes, if we had more means to be able to go deeper, it would be great. On the other hand, uh, does it mean that we don't get some results working with this kind of a special forces approach? No, we do get results. And now there is no domestic, there is no purely domestic investigation, no purely domestic stories, almost. In almost every important stories, there is an international, a transnational element uh, that is associated with that. As you know, we live in the midst of a profound crisis in uh, what in, in English you call legacy media. And uh, with so many newspapers dying one after the other. And uh, in all those circumstances, the first that are closed, the first that are thrown uh, over the board, overboard are investigative journalists because they are expensive, they take time, they are too serious, and they don't are the kind of complacent uh, kind of journalism that a lot of advertisers would need. It is most, most of the uh, non-government journalism, the independent journalism, has been supported by two or three foundations of which uh, the most important of them has been the Open Society Foundations. Of, there is not a great amount of money all over the world for supporting investigative journalism and independent journalism. I think it's about $50 million a year, which is, is a shame that such important value should have such scant support. I would wish that uh, all the new money coming from the new digital plutocracy that uh, is uh, coming now could consider very strongly, do they want to live in a more honest world? Do they want to come into new countries and find people who are determinedly engaged in a struggle against corruption and not just engaged in that struggle but winning it? And uh, do they want to go from country to country and see struggling young democracies that have free presses? Then if you want that, which is, should be the same as wanting to have uh, forest and, uh, and, and, and cleaner all over the world, I think uh, you should very strongly try to do your best to support a the independent uh, digital uh, 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 investigative journalist uh, publications and the, the organizations that put these journalists together. I think it is the kind of value that not, is not only for the nations, it's for the world.